St. Isabel's Hospital It is centrally and strategically situated at the heart of Chennai, the capital city of the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. It was in March 1949 that St. Isabel's Hospital came into existence. St. Isabel's has about 300 inpatient beds which are fully utilized by over 22 clinical departments governed by an efficient management team to ensure that all the staff members, over 700 of them in all, deliver high quality of care, dedication and commitment. St. Isabel's provides the following facilities. Outpatient services throughout the week from morning till night for most specialities. St. Isabel's is known for its personal care and understanding towards each and every patient. This hospital is mainly known for the quality care in obstetrics gynecology. The patients from generations come here because the patients nowadays, their mother's mother has been born here, that like the generations are continued here. Isabel's now is being recognized in the top research institutes across the globe. We are now into the top-notch uh, nano research and uh, <coughs> We are into some form of uh, clinical trials soon on gastric cancer. St. Isabel's provides 24 hours emergency consultation and treatment at the casualty with an excellent accident and trauma care department. Master Health Checkup Investigations Round-the-clock advanced lab facilities Radiology and imaging services Special investigations that enable accurate and quick diagnosis and treatment a well-organized hemodialysis unit that is managed by the expert nephrology team is an added strength to assist the alarmingly increasing number of renal failure patients. With a hospital of this caliber where we cater to a lot of patients and the hospital is always busy and full, the need for hemodialysis need not be overemphasized. The scientific advancement has really helped us to tide over a lot of crises. We also do what is called plasma pheresis, which is done by using the same machine with a different type of filter, where we have done plasma pheresis for one patient with anti-GBM disease as well. We have actually saved a lot of acute kidney failure patients, obstetric renal failure patients, where the dialysis unit has been a real lifesaver for these patients. Critically ill patients experience real life in the intensive care units. Medical, surgical, cardiac, neonatal and pediatrics high dependency unit are under the able care of the specialists in internal medicine, surgery, cardiology and pediatrics. More than anything else in newborn, nursing care becomes very, very, very crucial. Hence, it is important that we develop a good team of nurses along with a good team of doctors. Without them, these equipments would mean nothing. Now presently we have the highest form of, one of the best forms of ventilation including high frequency ventilators, we have transport incubators, we can treat most of the diseases of newborn in our unit itself. Inpatient services are available in the general ward, cubicles, sharing rooms, single rooms, air-conditioned rooms and deluxe rooms. A number of my patients subsequently have told me that they like Isabel's because of what they call the home-like or homely atmosphere. They say it is not so much like a 
hospital as like a home. Personally, I've been associated with this hospital for over 40 years. But the sisters take special care of the bishops and priests and religious who are admitted in the hospital. I don't know how to appreciate the hospital, the staff, Sister Mary Matthew, Dr. CVK, and each and everybody, the nurse, doctors, servants, peons. Excellent, the treatment. It was grown to a 300-bedded hospital with the staff numbering about 700 and above, including the nurses, class 4 workers, doctors, paramedicals. The hospital has eight well-equipped operating theatres with state-of-the-art operating tables, lights and latest equipments to carry out complex surgeries in many specialities by experts in their field. During Sakalakalavallavan, I had a massive glass injury. My face was torn here and for an actor, face, they say, is important. And so I was a bit worried and Dr. Matangi performed a surgery on me probably a couple of hours or something. Nine stitches, which has to be done very carefully because it's a face and she left me without a scar. I'm a standing proof of the service and quality of Isabel, my face. School of Nursing School of Nursing in the hospital campus was the first initiative of the hospital management in the field of professional education for young girls from the middle class families, preparing them for selfless service of the sick and suffering humanity. College of Allied Health Sciences is another venture to train young people in laboratory technology courses as the management felt the need for a strong paramedical support system in order to enhance the health care. St. Isabel's is specially known for its quality nursing care under the supervision of the efficient medical and surgical team of consultants. Diplomat of the National Board, DNB, is the postgraduate program for the doctors. St. Isabel's Hospital is accredited by the National Board, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, to run DNB in obstetrics and gynecology and general surgery. Realizing the need to keep up with the ever-growing health care facilities in India, St. Isabel's has registered itself to be accredited by National Accreditation Board for Hospitals. We are definitely going on to the accreditation of the National Board of Hospital Accreditation Committee in India which is at par with the Joint Commissioner International of the United States and then the International Standards for Quality in Health Institutions Care. Sort of, in today's scenario, this is the best possible accreditation you can have. In Tamil Nadu, only four hospitals have been approved for that and we are in the process of that. So, see, this indicates once you say that this hospital is accredited to that NABH standards, it means you are global, really. No doubt, soon, St. Isabel's will be one among the accredited hospitals in Tamil Nadu. The relentless team spirit within its medical teams, high standards of nursing care, a patient-centered approach in all that it does, coupled with dedication and humanitarian service, makes St. Isabel's the preferred hospital in the city.